In this video, I'm going to talk about how to get started with VO 3.1. The recent release happened from Google on October 15, 2025. If you are still relying on old inconsistent AI video models, you are officially behind the curve and your content is have become obsolete. Google just weaponized the AI video with the release of VO 3.1 with ultimate prompting guide. If you don't master this system, you will be left in the dust. Hey, if you have not met, my name is Pritam. I talk about AI and the latest technologies in the world of especially generative AI. And I happen to give a speech on TED Talk on generative AI, that is Agent Space, the old name for Gemini Enterprise with, of course, the new features. Have a look on the TEDx platform. And also I happen to write a book on generative AI to demystify and make it productive for everyday people. So let's dive in. So we are not talking about any small upgrades. This is an official guide from Google where it talks about not only generate 720p, 1080p cinematic scenes, perfectly consistent characters, native audio, the kind of control that was impossible with the earlier version. The clock is ticking. The containers who implement this now are the ones who will, do will dominate the next wave of video content. So don't waste your time. Let's get started. And I will talk about three insane features which you should incorporate in your videos if you are especially in the content background. If you are a marketer or a sales or in a YouTube content creator or anything else on the social media platform, this is the video you should opt for. So let's dive in. Before we go to the demo, let's see what the internet is talking about, especially on the x.com, right? See the cinematic fashion videos, which has been going viral and, and is totally taken down the internet, right? And you can do all these things very easily with viewer.3.1. And if you're wondering how to get started with Vivo 3.1, the best way to get started is with Google Cloud Console, the Vertex AI platform, the end-to-end -end platform, which gives you access to the paid preview. So Google has named it as a paid preview, and eventually it will come to Google AI Studio and Gemini, where you can get started with Vivo 3.1. But for now, time being, while the time of recording, it is available on the Vertex AI platform. To do that, log into your console, google.com, and it is very easy to get started and click generate media here you see a bunch of video cloud offers whether it is nano banana imagine four chirp generating your voice laria generating your music and generate video we will generate video here so what feature i will talk about the first one i'm going to talk about is reference to video what you can do is you can easily upload few references for the video and and click generate typically we're trying to upload the images right to do that you need to select vo3.1 preview and and go to here reference which you see in the screen right let me zoom it out a bit and add reference images so what i will do is i will have created a image downloaded it above from previous thing and you can also do about that very easily what i've done is i've downloaded already the images of the person especially a lady who is getting started and let's see the out so i've uploaded a background scene which you can see here a leather jacket and the lady here right i will say just simply put a prompt. I will simply put a prompt, generate a video using all three reference images. You can get and enhance this prompt and there are different ways to get you that, right? So let's wait for some time till the output is generated and I will be back. Something I missed out, there are two variants of VO, like in the other models, like three and two, the fast model, which talks about uh, you are trying to prototype or test out very quickly for, uh, for video. You can go with VO 3.1 fast. You can see this option. And 3.1 is the production gate. So I'm using the production gate capability to test out the reference to video capability with VO 3.1. Let's see how the output comes out. So you can see the output has come out and let's play it, how it looks like. Looks good, looks good with laser jacket. And let me go back to other video to see how the output has come. So you can see the various output. We can always fine tune it, right? I felt the first one was more accurate. Let's move on to the second capability, which I'm going to talk about. So how to do the first frame and last frame interpolation, right? You can add the first and last frame of the scene and generate an insane video out of it, right? Let's check this out. So as always, I'm always obsessed with uh, Bigfoot. So let me add something like here. The part of second demo, what I'm trying to do is I have combined the first frame, which is of course me here, and the second frame is the Bigfoot. I will say, please 
generate a video using the person as first frame and see video should end up with big foot suggesting learn ai as it's the best thing let's see the output how it comes you can always generate different formats like 16 is to 9 9 is to 16 right and it gives you different frames like four six eight seconds if you want that we spoke about different uh resolutions 720 and 108p as well and there are different ways you can generate right and always don't forget to check this option audio otherwise you won't get the audio and there are a lot of bunch of safety filters like right, uh, which you can select right that's the best part about google right and plus the bonus tip and the pro tip for you it gives you invisible watermark powered by synth id right from google deep minds right with the entity in google so this is a few of the capabilities you should be aware so that you are copyright protected as well while you are trying to generate the video because it's your own video Although you have used AI platform like Vertex AI or VO 3.1, doesn't matter. You are the copyright owner for the video. So you can see the video has come up. Uh, earlier I generated the video, right? So let's see. This. Learn VO 3.1 now. Not bad, not bad. Let's check this out, the third one. Let's see. Learn V.1 now. This was my earlier while well, I was trying to experiment some time back, which I wanted in this format, right? Let's check this out. Learn VO 3.1 now. Let's check this output, which we did now. Learn AI as its best thing for mankind. Not bad, not bad. Learn AI as it's the best thing for mankind. I love this one. This was damn accurate, right? With simple prompt, which could have been enhanced in a better way, I feel as well. But it gave me something output which I was looking for, right? So the third feature is a bonus tip for you. And I will let you know what this bonus tip looks like, right? So no more surprises. And you want to remove an object or something, you can always do that. The capabilities of VO3.1. And one of the things is in pending. Either you can add the object and remove the object from the existing video. For example, you feel you want to do some edit here, just click in paint or even you can extend the video if you want. So once I click in paint, it will allow you to which part of the video you want to remove, right? So probably I will mask it something like this. So you can see an input option, insert, remove. So I will click the brush and I want to remove this person. For example, you say this, right? So it takes some time to generate the output. You can even add those inputs as well. While the video is taking time to generate with in-pen capabilities. So the pro tip for you, if you're looking to generate insane images, nano banana, right? If you have not experimented, you are going to be left behind. Those can serve as a strong source of input for your videos, whether you're using VO3 or 3.1 or some other platforms, which is backed by VO3, 3.1. This gives you a great starting point, whether you want a first frame, last frame, or reference to video, which you saw in the demo, or you want to do an in-pen capability, removing something objects or adding some objects to the images before the video is generated even, right? You can do all these things. Let's recap very quickly. So we're talking about improved image to video capability, right? It adheres to the strong prompts. I'm talking about prompt adherence and enhanced audio visual capability, right? A improved version on VO3. And you are not to miss out ingredients to video, which is very consistent here. It provides reference images you provide, and the style, the aesthetics you provide, and includes the audio generation, right? And we saw the last image and first image, seamless integration, which is quite easy. And the in-pen capabilities with add or remove objects, right? That was also very fast. And my favorite one is digital watermarking. It gives me a copyright indemnification and safeguards me from all the legal issues with the synth ID out of the box. So that's it, folks. On the VO 3.1, I will disc, I'll give you the details how to get started on VO 3.1. It's simple. Simple. It's on the cloud console, uh, console.cloud.google.com, where you can get started with VO 3.1. The preview, it's a paid preview mode, where you can either go with VO 3.1 or 3.1 fast model. And stay tuned to my channel.